morning everyone. I'm here to talk to you about two more Troy Berries. This time these are our sports selections. So let's start off with Rivals. You might have read Game Changer by Tommy Greenwald. So you might be already familiar with this author. This is one of his newer ones. It's not a continuation, um, but it is about a town that has two main middle schools and they are Crosstown Rivals. And it's focused on the basketball teams at each of the schools and the pressures that are on the athletes to perform, to succeed, to get scholarships. And there's also a, a girl who is reporting on all this and trying to find out what's going on behind the scenes. So like in Game Changer, this book is written in different forms. So you'll find that there's news stories and then there's interviews and then there's parts where it's text messages and social media posts, which makes it really interesting and fun to read. I'm also so excited that we are going to host this author during our Troy Berry Author Blitz on uh, March 10th. So we're actually gonna be able to talk to him. I'm so excited and we're gonna be able to hear about his new book, which is a, um, a sequel to Game Changer. So our other sports book is Taking Up Space by Allison Gerber. And this one is also about basketball, but it's about more than basketball. So our main character, Sarah, loves to play basketball, but she seems to just not be doing as well on the court as she does normally. Something's going on. And so she decides, well, maybe if I control what I'm eating, that will help me to succeed more um, in basketball. And she also has other things going on at home. Like when she brings her friends over, there's never food in her house. Her mom doesn't really buy a lot of food. And sometimes her mom even forgets to feed her dinner. So Sarah decides that maybe if she starts controlling her food like her mom does, that maybe she'll do better at basketball. But she meets this friend um, who she's kind of interested in and he takes an, an interest in what's going on with her eating habits. And you'll have to read to find out if she ends up making the choice um, to change what she's doing and also figure out what's going on with her mom. So this one's called Taking Up Space. I hope you come and check out either of these here in the Media Center. Have a great day. Weather report, a steady rain in the morning, wind with showers continuing in the afternoon, high 56 degrees, wind southeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour, chance of rain 100%, rainfall near half an inch, Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Today's birthdays, Daniela Monroe and Emma Yang. Today's half birthdays, Sharon Elawar, Anina Hashini, and Simon Wilson. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Announcements for Thursday, February 9th. After school tutoring room 905, 245 to 345. Chess club room 711, 245 to 345. Forensics club room 202, 245 to 445. So today, tomorrow is just like your animal day. Who's better, Michigan or Michigan State? You know, I'm not a fan of uh, neither of the teams, but I have to go with uh, Michigan State. My father actually went to school there. Correct answer, correct answer. Important question, who's better, Michigan or Michigan State? Michigan State, go green, baby. Correct answer. Who's better, Michigan or Michigan State? Um, Michigan State. Why? Because I heard they've been doing good this, this season. Okay. <laughs>